Praise the Lord, everybody. It's Tish Nichelle, aka Tish Angelish. I hope you guys are blessed and highly favored in the Lord. We come to lift up the name of Jesus. I hope you guys are okay. So, um, I do have a very strong prophetic word from Yah, and I just want to thank my Heavenly Father uh, for giving me such a blessed, blessed word. Amen. Let's get right to the word of God. So, mm, where do I begin? Several things here. Um, I have several things going on. Let's see. Okay, so several weeks ago, it's actually been several months. Um, I was looking in the backyard of my home and Father Yah began to deal with me and let me know that there is something stronger than the current pandemic that's coming. And uh, within this, it's also going to affect, We, you know how the statistics claim, and I say claim for reasons that um, it's really affecting the elderly on a larger scale, okay? But what I saw coming, there's something coming and it's going to affect all, not just the elderly, more so than the other uh, specifications, specific groups, okay? But this thing is, it's going to be so bad that no one is going to be able to go outside. So I encourage you guys to keep stockpiling, okay? Now, um, will this be before the Haparzo, I really don't know, but that's why we want to live each day like it's our last to make sure that we're not left behind, okay? Now, the next thing I saw, um, I saw several things last night. Last night, guys. So last night, I see a big ship, not small like this, but it was a big one, and it was um, laying on the side. So one side was up in the air. The other side was just like down in the water. It wasn't sinking yet, but it was going to sink because it was already like either right or left side up. You know what I mean? So one side was in the air and the other side was like on the water. Um, so it was flip sided. <laughs> the bottom part was definitely facing the air. It wasn't on water, so it, 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 that's a problem. And I, I saw economy in words. I saw the letters E-C-O-N-O-M-Y. So we're headed towards a economic collapse. I know you guys are aware of that, but, um, you know, <laughs> we're right here at the end. Okay, now the next thing. Okay, so last night I was carrying... A cake okay and it didn't have any tears though and it had in gold letters at the top 25 in gold letters like it could have been candle letters 25 and the 25 represents agape love Yah's love in the Greek concordance um, I saw some stairs in a home it wasn't my current home and I was just walking with the cake and then I heard, dun, 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 like I heard the bridal music. So, you know, that could represent that some of you guys are entering to your season of you're going to get married. We're going to get married um, before 2025. Okay. It could also mean, you know, just stay ready for her part. So, okay. Okay. So that's that. Okay, now Yah is also saying today a very strong prophetic word to people that he's going to cause your season to come. He's going to shine a light upon you so strong. He's going to raise you guys up the same way that many of you were brought down low through evil devices. And he took me to the Bible in Genesis and reminded me of Jacob and Rebekah and how they deceived Esau and Isaac okay and they staged and they set up this trap to steal the birthright um, okay the birthright from Esau and the father Esau, uh, Isaac was dying he could not see and the Bible lets us know that Rebecca helped Jacob to deceive Isaac into blessing Jacob instead of Esau and they used goat skins to imitate Esau's hairy arms Okay, and then many years later, Esau was able to forgive Jacob 
And the Bible also lets us know that Esau's twin was born holding Esau's heel and was named Jacob, which means supplanter. So um, supplanter means that someone, a person who tricks another out of something for personal gain. Okay. And Esau became a skillful hunter. And that's why the father favored him and uh, the mother favored Jacob. Okay. So it was a setup. And y'all are saying today that he's going to raise some people up in the same way that you were brought down low through evil devices. Maybe your reputation. Maybe you were put to shame. Uh, maybe this thing was done in, in the public's eye to humiliate you. Maybe your whole hometown knows you as a person of shame. Okay. Look for Yah to raise you up in the same public, out of the ashes, out of shame. He's going to cause a light to shine upon you through disappointment, through frustration. Thank you, Holy Ghost. That's why I was walking with that cake and it was in a dark home, but God is going to cause a light. That's why the letters were bright and gold and it said 25, okay? This is what Father is saying right now. Thank you, Holy Ghost. Yah is saying that nothing good is going to come and that doesn't mean, okay, I feel like that dream also has multiple meanings, okay? But I'm receiving this revelation right now. Nothing good is going to come out of evil devices that steal, supplanting people. Nothing good is going to come out of that. They may have supplanted you, but God is saying, Yah is saying today to tell you to let them live. To live and let live. Let let go. Just let that stuff go. Don't try to fight it. You have so much to live for. And I decree y'all's blessings over your life today. I decree that you can get that good and perfect gift regardless of what was stolen from you. Some of you, yes, you went through periods and seasons of times in your life where it felt like you were blocked. You feel like God was Jehovah, nowhere to be found. Okay, you're going to come out of this season of disappointment, this season of stagnancy, this season of no change. Maybe you've been stagnant and in a dry place like a drought. Oh, they, oh, hallelujah. If you remain faithful, it's okay. God is going to turn it around for your good. Maybe you have walked through a period of time where it seems like there was just no change. Like, can anything good happen to me? Maybe people have devised or are devising currently evil things to steal what's rightfully yours. Maybe someone lied against your ministry. Thank you, Holy Ghost. That's why them stairs was in my dream. Maybe someone lied against your ministry and sent a heresy, slander through slander and gossip to try to push you down. Maybe someone is or was working behind the scenes. Maybe they're trying everything to try to hold you down. Maybe there's a bit of information, vital information that you need to get something that you really, really need. I don't know. But God is saying that nothing good is going to come from them that have plotted against you. Whatever they took from you or whatever they're trying to take, they ain't going to be able to do nothing with it. It's not going to, to work for them the way that they think, the way that they are trying to make this thing work, working up against you. They not pulling nothing from up under you. I saw somebody trying to pull something like a rug or from up under somebody. And y'all said that they can't pull nothing that he did not allow. Hallelujah. And if you're somebody that's holding up an answer or something that someone needs to get something, you're trying to block somebody, you're trying to work ill devices, God is saying that you're not going to hurt nobody but yourself. If you have taken something that did not belong to you, you're going to hurt yourself. You need to go head on and give it back because whoever you're trying to hurt, God say, touch not my anointing and do my prophet no harm. Whoever you trying to hurt, they going to be all right. Because God is a restore. And God is saying today that who I bless, no man can curse. The Bible lets us know that when Jacob finally met up with Esau after all them years that he had stole from him. By the time he got Esau, he felt like he thought that Esau was going to kill him because he know he had did his brother wrong. He had organized and set aside all these different animals and things and slaves and things to give to 
Esau because he knew he had done wrong. But by the time he saw Esau, God had already blessed Esau. Esau said, I don't need it. I already got enough. And I, I, I don't come to, uh, to kill you because I forgive you. And God is saying, you're going to be all right. You're going to have enough. Yeah, they might have worked evil devices against you, but you're going to be all right. Maybe you're one today that in business dealings, even someone tried to take something from you, like a client or something. Y'all show me that he has a fire around the midst of his people, that if people try to work evil against some of y'all through unscrupulous behavior against you, it's going to backfire. And you may ask me, why are you saying that? The Bible says, I will curse them that curse you. It's in the word of God. Maybe you are a victim of being exploited even. Maybe someone is not being fair with you. Maybe they caught you at a vulnerable season of time in your life and, and now you're being taken advantage of and the scales are being removed from your eyes. Maybe you uh, uh, are in a relationship with somebody and they're not carrying their weight. Maybe you're being used, but God is saying and that's exploitation. Okay. I'm seeing something like that too. All these different scenarios. I don't know what category that you're fitting in, but God is saying that now it's come to a head. Maybe you're just now seeing that, Hey, this, this I've had enough. I think I done had enough. This word could be for you. Or maybe you're involved in a triangle relationship, a relationship full of uh, a web of lies. I also saw a web of lies and deceit. And maybe in that triangle relationship, maybe that person thinks that they have the upper hand or the upside of things. But Yah is saying that they will soon know that they don't have the upper hand. He's coming to expose. Or maybe you the black sheep of your family and maybe you're unwelcomed maybe people have painted you wrongly through lies hallelujah lies and deceit but yah is saying today i'm gonna prove you and i want to say this i'm gonna start right here y'all said to tell his people to stop going along with y'all family and friends with these evil devices against one another enough is enough i heard god very clearly say stop it Y'all is saying that I am the God who has come to expose and avenge. Maybe they painted you as Mary Magdalene, but they hiding stuff and sweeping it under a rug. God is saying, I have come to remove that which is hiding. Repent and touch not my anointed. That person who they picking over and picking on. And saying, oh, but this person is beneath me and that person is beneath me. They just a least one. Y'all saying, uh-uh, that's my anointed one. Be careful of judgment. You're on dangerous ground. And y'all also spoke to me today. He said, this is why people are sick and they're not going to get healed until they get things right with some of y'all. The same one who you may be pushing down and plotting up against and painting falsely plotting and planning against devising evil schemes that is probably the person that you're going to need to pray you out of whatever god gonna cause you to fall into okay whether it's sickness or whatever mm -hmm. and when you down down and out god will show you that person face and why you up under judgment for working ill devices behind the scenes. And some people are just working things all out in the open. Now some stuff going to backfire against some people. Mm -hmm. But working against God, people, he say, touch not my anointed and do my prophet no harm. That's the same person you're going to need to get a prayer through for you. You're going to have to get it right. You're going to have to go back. He said, leave your gift at the altar. Then I heard hiding stuff, hiding stuff. Or maybe this may be you. Maybe your partner is cheating with a woman and maybe this woman gets pregnant and she threatens to embarrass your husband to the church people or whomever. So because of that and because she chose, she wants to have this baby, okay? Maybe your husband is choosing to save his name and divorce you and marry her and make you look like you were the one who was wrong. 
to save his reputation, but Yah is saying he's going to bring that plan down low. So yeah, they may go head on and choose one another and, and leave you out in the cold by yourself, but guess what? They're not going to have what they thought that they were going to have by taking what was not theirs, okay? Working ill devices, it's not going to work out like they think it's going to work out. Mm -hmm. So, and I see that people think they got the upper hand and they think that they are good and you got the short end of the stick. Uh-uh. They going to soon be brought down low and find out you got the upper hand. Okay. So I see, I see ill devices. I see stolen property, stolen ideas. I see stolen companies, stolen money, whatever the situation is, whoever supplanted you. Yah is saying today that this is your season and no gate of hell shall prevail against your season. This is your time to laugh. This is your time to shine. This is your time to rise above this. Rejoice for this is your season. I see newness. I see fresh opportunity. I see fresh ideas. It doesn't matter if they took your idea. God is saying today that he is the God of all ideas. Hallelujah. It don't matter what they stole from you. He is a gift bringer. He said, I created this world with a spoken word. Don't underestimate my power. Hallelujah. And my authority. He said, let there be light in the midst of darkness. And guess what? There was a light. Don't underestimate the royal Hakadash. And God also said, some of you all have been straight up cursed by witchcraft, but the ditch that they dig for you, mm -mm. God going to turn that whole situation around. Y'all saying, I have prepared a table for you in the presence of your enemies. They will see you and see you rise above this. Right in their presence, right in their face. What the enemy meant for your harm, y'all saying, I'm going to turn it around for your good. They will watch you shine. Yah is able. He's saying your table is set. I prepared a table before you in the presence of your enemies. It's prepared. Now get ready to feast, says the Lord of hosts. Jehovah Jireh, the meaning of that is the Lord who provides. It means the Lord who sees. God is saying today, I've seen you and I will see to it. Hallelujah. This means that we have a need. It's a personal need. It's a special need. It means one who will see to our needs and provide for us. The Lord who will see to it that my every need is met because he sees he's able to meet our needs in just the right time as he did for Abraham. And he can meet our needs fully. Remember for Abraham, it was the ram that was caught in the thicket that was offered in Isaac's place. So for us, it is whatever we may need. And y'all said, tell my people, I'm going to be Jehovah Yasha, the one that can turn things around for their good in such a way that people who thought that they were way ahead of you will be on your wavelength when God finishes with you. And he will even cause you to supersede them. He's going to prove Jehovah Yasha is his name. And I also saw some of you like Joseph from the prison to the palace. You had to go through in order to get to where God was taking you. Now you've come to the place. You've come to your season uh, of mourning to end. Yeah, there was a time for you to mourn, but now y'all is saying it's your time to dance. And I heard breakout dancing. Hallelujah. So rejoice. Hallelujah. And for some of you who denied instant gratification, you were tempted to take something, uh, maybe to do something unscrupulous. Maybe you had an opportunity that wasn't from y'all. It wasn't given by y'all. And you denied your flesh. You denied that girlfriend or boyfriend because you didn't want to hurt that cousin or that friend or whatever. Whatever it was. Maybe, and I heard somebody say, go on and take it. Go on and take it. It's rightfully yours. Maybe you were tempted by people, bad influences, but you stood up for y'all. Maybe you could have hurt a friend or hurt a loved one or did something that really wasn't all the way right. And people was trying to convince you that it was. Maybe it was just something unethical. 
and maybe you could have rightfully done it, but you denied yourself because you didn't want to hurt someone. God say, I'm going to give you double for your trouble and some of y'all triple for your trouble. Hallelujah. Glory to God. So I'm rejoicing God with y'all. I'm rejoicing in my God. And uh, I'm just going to thank God for your blessings and mine too. I love you guys. This is the word of Yah. And it is May the 17th. 2020 rejoice God has favored you and this is your season to shine he's going to shine a light down on you